The Brain and the Mystery of Consciousness Some people argue against traditional beliefs, suggesting that the structure of our brain is not necessarily the origin of consciousness. Our brain, which weighs about 1.4 kilograms and contains roughly 2 billion neurons interconnected by around 500 trillion synapses, is it really the true source of consciousness? Dr. Eben Alexander, who has shared his personal experience of consciousness during a deep coma, explains, as a neurosurgeon, I was taught that the brain creates consciousness. Many doctors and medical students may have learned the same lesson about consciousness. However, scientists continue to debate the validity of this theory. Let's take a moment to imagine a child who is seeing an elephant for the first time. Light reflects off the animal and enters the child's eyes. Light receptors in the retina, located at the back of the eye, transform this light into electrical signals. These signals are then sent through the optic nerve to the brain's visual cortex. This process is how visual perception or visual consciousness comes to life. But here's the intriguing question. How do these electrical signals transform into vivid images in the child's mind? How do these signals become the child's thoughts followed by an emotional reaction like, wow, that elephant is huge. Australian cognitive scientist David Chalmers in 1995 called this question about how the brain creates subjective consciousness, images, emotions, and experiences, the hard problem. It's a question that still baffles many experts today. What's even more mind-blowing is that recent findings suggest the brain may not be the necessary condition for consciousness at all.